Russian troops are withdrawing their headquarters from the front line as the Ukrainian army counterattacks. The Ukrainian army is advancing, and the footage shows a battle between a Ukrainian Leopard 2A6 and two Russian tanks, as well as the burning of $15 million. Watch this video to find out more. Ukrainian army replenishes the exchange fund in the Bakhmut sector. Ukrainians knocked the Nazis out of the landing zone. There could have been more prisoners, but only three accepted the offer to surrender and save their lives. In the Zaporizhia sector, the Ukrainian armed forces advanced another kilometer and a half in the area of Robotino. Advancements have also been recorded east of Novoprokopivka, close to the Dragon's Teeth and the Russian defense line. Note the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in the landing and the Dragon's Teeth. The distance is approximately 50 to 100 meters. The Russians are sorely lacking in reserves, so they are moving entire divisions from the Kupiansk direction. New divisions have already arrived in the south and are building a new defense in front of Tokmak. It is reported that two Ukrainian tanks are firing at Russian strongholds near the village of Novoprokopivka. A Russian T 80 BV tank was destroyed near the village of Robotyne using a grenade dropped from a UAV. Ukrainian armed forces also advanced north of Novomayorsky, in Donetsk region. And here is a battle between Ukrainians on a Leopard 2A6 tank and two Russian tanks at a distance of about 2 kilometers. After suffering damage, the occupiers began to abandon their positions. Another enemy, Sonsepek, suffered from, so to speak, professional burnout. You can watch $15 million from the Russian defense stockpile burn forever. They were set on fire by the aerial reconnaissance of the 27th Brigade of the National Guard. The advance of the defense forces in the Tauride sector by more than one kilometer was also recorded. The artillery units of our army carried out 1391 firing missions during the day.